Hello, my friends. It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. Thanks for joining me. I'm here today to talk about the Rivera Rock Crusher Recording Reactive Attenuator Load Box and Speaker Simulator. Sitting here behind me, I used it on all the guitar parts uh, for the song at the beginning of the video. And uh, so in that song, basically what I was doing was running the speaker output of my PT-100 tube amp into the speaker in on the Rivera. Uh, that was getting safely loaded down then, down to line level. And uh, then I was using this portion of the Rivera, which is the speaker simulation portion, to uh, add uh, the sound of a mic'd up guitar speaker cabinet. Then I took balanced line out out of the Rivera over to my recording uh, interface and software and captured the sound. Um, so, uh, you know, the first chord you heard me hit in the song, I didn't have the speaker simulation switched in. And then I flicked the switch and you heard, uh, you know, the difference in sound. It's always gnarly to hear the raw, straight, unprocessed sound of what a distorted guitar amp sounds like through a full range system. Like if you plugged your guitar amp into a PA, that's what it would sound like. It's just heinous and gnarly. And as soon as I flipped that switch, you know, all is right in the world and everything sounds good all of a sudden. So I did that to kind of illustrate, um, you know, the guitar speaker and speaker cabinet and miking of the speaker cabinet all has such a huge impact on your overall guitar tone. Uh, you know, what we think of as sort of modern uh, electric guitar sound, it's just got so much to do with uh, the speakers that you're using or speaker simulation that you're using. Huge impact. So um, this box has great speaker simulation in it. It's all analog and uh, it's highly adjustable via this EQ, EQ right here. It just sounds really good, I think. Um, so I'm gonna get into the speaker simulation portion of this box uh, in just a second. But first I wanna talk about the reactive attenuation and load box that's in the Rivera Rock Crusher recording. So guitar amplifier attenuator boxes, they're nothing new, they've been around uh, in some form or another since the 70s, but good sounding ones, that is a relatively new concept, I think. Uh, basically, you know, when you plug your tube guitar amp into a speaker cabinet, there's this relationship that happens between the output transformer of the amp and the speakers. And it's got to do with impedance and dampening and things I don't really understand because I'm not a scientist or an amp tech, but there's this constant push-pull back-forth relationship that's going on with the amplifier and the speaker cabinet. Now, amplifier attenuators are designed to go in between the amp and speaker cabinet, and basically what they do is suck juice off the amplifier and dissipate it as heat, and by doing that, they then turn down the overall level of your amp and send a reduced signal out to the speaker cabinet. But many times in the past, this would result in the tone getting changed, and that was always frustrating. You know, it might sound like there is a bit of a blanket over the speakers, or like the tone gets midi -er or compressed. You know, just something's different and it's not right. Well, it's that complex nature of that relationship between the amp and the speaker that was getting disrupted. So the reactive circuitry in the Rivera Rock Crusher was designed to uh, address all those concerns and keep that complex relationship between the amp and the speaker constant. And the net result is, I think, you'll hear in the examples that I'm about to give you, uh, you know, it's extremely transparent sounding, this attenuator. It really works great and it's just basically the tone of your amp but at a reduced volume. Okay, so let's check it out. So in that clip you heard me attenuating my Sur SL68 from a full blistering 100 watts all the way down to like TV bedroom practice volume or maybe even below, it was like super quiet at that point. Um, in the last part of the clip I was using the E attenuation setting and I flipped on the uh, edge and warm switches they give you here. It's a simple uh, two band EQ that's just on switches. Basically those are there to compensate for that Fletcher Munson effect where your ears hear things differently at different volume levels. So if you feel like you need a bit more top end or a bit more thump, you can just turn those switches on. Okay, so now what I wanna do is play a clip where I've gone and volume matched all the clips that you just heard, okay? So I wanna make it kinda of apples to apples so that you can hear all those clips at the exact same volume. So I've done that in software. 
Uh, so, so it's uh, a direct comparison. You know, obviously, when you start turning down the amp using the attenuator, you're not driving the speaker as hard, and that'll change the sound a bit. You're also not driving the mics as hard or the mic prees. Uh, but, you know, still, I think it'll provide a, a, a bit more accurate comparison to hear and listen for any tonal changes in between the clips when they're at the exact same volume. Okay, so I'm going to play you that clip now. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, keep in mind that each one of those uh, is a separate performance of me playing those guitar chords at all the different attenuation levels. You know, it's not like I reamped the part each time. So, you know, there's going to be little variances in the playing each time. And when you take that into account, uh, I think it's, you know, pretty amazing. It speaks volumes about the, uh, the quality of the attenuation and the reactive circuit in uh, the Rock Crusher recording and how good it is. It just sounds incredibly transparent. You know, the amp sounds like the amp is supposed to sound at all those different levels of attenuation, right all the way down to loaded down completely. And that brings us to the speaker simulation circuit in the Rock Crusher recording. So at the beginning of the video, you saw me engage the speaker simulation on the Rock Crusher recording. That's this switch right here. Uh, the next switch down controls a pad. Um, if you're using a, a lower power amp, say 5 watts to 50 watts, uh, you know, you might not need to worry about the pad. If you're using a cranked 100 watt amp, you might need to engage that pad uh, in order to not overload the input of the speaker simulator circuit. Next switch down gives you uh, control over this level meter. You can control whether you want to look at the input level coming into the unit or the output going out. Then you've got a line level slider here right here that controls that overall level going out. Uh, that brings us to the EQ. So if all these sliders are set flat, you're going to get a tone coming out of the line out that is similar to some other popular speaker simulators on the market. And it sounds good. Uh, where the Rivera guys have gone and taken it a step further is they've gone and plotted out a bunch of different guitar speakers and looked at the frequencies that seem really guitar centric and important to guitar speakers. And that's what they've given you on this EQ right here. And then they've, they've gone and plotted out a bunch of different speakers and, the, and they've actually in the manual here, they give you four examples of some different popular guitar speakers. And simply by uh, moving the sliders up and down and kind of copying these settings, you can closely approximate the sound of different guitar speakers mic'd up. So uh, in the song at the beginning of the video, you heard me use this first plot right here, which is uh, supposed to emulate a Celestian Creamback mic with an SM57. And indeed, it does sound a lot like that to me. Uh, so I'm just going to play the same riff uh, four times right now with these four different curves so you can hear just how much you can vary the sound of the Rock Crusher recording speaker simulator circuit using the EQ.
Okay, so you can hear that you can closely approximate the sound of different mic'd up guitar speaker cabinets very easily using the Rock Crusher recording and get a lot of variance using this EQ circuit. You know, this unit's all analog and I think a lot of people want to reach out and get that immediate thing. They want to grab a slider and change it and uh, get an instant tonal change. And so for those types of people, this unit's really going to appeal to them because it's very easy to use and it just sounds great. Uh, so the attenuator portion of the Rock Crusher recording is obviously fantastic. Uh, you're going to be, be able to get total level control over your tube amp, be it in the studio or on stage, and that's really nice. If you're doing any kind of direct recording where you can't use a cabinet, this unit is obviously a great one to consider. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to crank your tube amp at 2 in the morning and record, and that's fantastic. Uh, or maybe you're doing a live gig where you can't use a cranked up tube amp, can't have cabinets on stage, that kind of thing. Uh, there's plenty of that going on these days. And this is a terrific option to consider because you're gonna, still going to be able to get a great mic'd up tube amp sound going direct out to the PA uh, using the Rock Crusher recording. Okay, so check it out further at the Rivera website. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, come back and see me for more demos and lessons and things like that. And uh, until next time, I bid you farewell. I am Pete Thorne.